Hey there. Welcome to Kingdom Kids. We welcome you back to the castle where we are talking about theater magic. And I have two fabulous princesses here with me. I have over here Princess Nia and over here I have Princess Kaya. Welcome to the castle, ladies. <laughs> Thank you for having us. Thank you. Yes. So I am super excited to do this episode with you guys. Not only do I miss seeing you guys, but I'm so excited to hear about all the things that you have ever done regarding theater, the singing, the preparing, the scripts, all of that. And what this show is, is just a little tool to, you know, kind of reach out and help others who may be young, like you are, looking to get into show business and just enjoying all there is about theater because all three of us up here have worked in theater or are still working in theater all right so we are just gonna jump right into it y'all ready to give some points and some tidbits and to talk about show life let's get into yeah. it yes yes i had to get show ready for this <laughs> show <laughs> the beat okay moving on so before we get into all of that though really quick just Give a shout out to those creatives that you have worked with um, here in Louisville or if you've worked over in Indiana. Just give a shout out to those people. Um, who wants to go first? You can. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> so I just want to give a shout out to Miss Lissandra Hood, um, Mr. Sir Troy Bell. I also yes. want to give a, a shout out to Miss Erica. Uh, I also want to give a shout out to anyone who has uh, helped me get through um, the tough times with my roles. I want to thank all the tiny tights, all the <laughs> youth troop for supporting me and being my backup while I was on stage. And that's um, everyone I want to shout out. All right. All right, Kyla. Um, well, I want to shout out um, Mr. Rush Trowell, um, <laughs> Ms. Lissandra um, Hood, and Mr. Uh, Troy Bell, and and um and miss erica denise for helping me with pretty much a lot of things because without them i would probably be breaking like i would probably be like lost without them because <laughs> they've helped me a lot along the way so i want to thank you i want to thank my mom she doesn't do theater but she helps me a lot with it like she tells me to slow down when you're speaking or um make sure you're projecting when you're doing this and I just want to thank her and also all of my friends who have supported me as well. So I thank you. Awesome. It's nothing, nothing like having great support when you are doing these shows and especially preparing for them with your scripts and your lines. And where do I go? And oh, that, that's called blocking, by the way. <laughs> yeah. That's called blocking. Where you go on stage is called blocking. All right. Good term blocking say it with me <laughs> blocking. blocking okay because whoo you don't know where you're going the director get ready to be mad <laughs> i'm telling you now okay so really quick i just want you to think back tell us what inspired you to jump into theater or musical theater okay. Which, tell us what inspired you to jump in it well what inspired me so I used to do act one, step two dancing, and I did like ballet and tap and um, acro. And um, just being on that stage made me like, hi, that might, that might be a good thing to do sometimes. So I just, I just like being on stage and I just, like, I just like, like singing and dancing. So I'm like, yeah, I think I'll make it. I think I'll make it. And here I am now talking on a talk show about acting. So yes, I made it. <laughs> yes, she has arrived. <laughs> What's up, Nia? How, tell us how, um, what inspired you to get started into theater slash musical theater? Well, it's you because you decided to like do these plays mm. and church and um, you um, wanted us to um, show how much we love to celebrate God. And when we did those things, I... Um, Loved to um, show that I was very, very into the stage. And when I would do those things, I was like, 
I would like to do this a lot more. And so after we got done um, doing those shows, I was like, I want to do this a whole lot more. I want to do what Kaya does. She gets to do this a whole lot more than uh, what we do at church. And I uh, decided to go to LCCC and um, continue acting there while still doing church plays here. All right. Awesome. 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 So, um, that is wonderful. And thank you. I, I tried, I, you know, I, I just wanted to bring my love to, um, you all and to God's creation. Shout out to God's creation, GC rocks. Woo! Uh, I just, I wanted to do that. That was something that I love and remembering all of the, um, the shows that we have done and your uh, parents sent me pictures of shows from way back and I'm like oh my gosh <laughs> and we really have been doing this a long time so thank you so much for bringing that back up okay so let's keep going let's get to I think for <laughs> I know for me the most nerve-wracking part <laughs> of <laughs> of the process the audition Mm. <laughs> so let's let's talk about the audition. So first of all, you have to prep some things. What are some things that you have to prep? That's the first part of my question as far as auditions. What are you told to prep as as kids? I know what I'm told to prep as an adult. What are you all told to prep as kids? Well, we are told to like so we they teach us a series of dances. And we have to like practice the dances just in case they want us to dance. And then we have to audition with a song. So we have to pick out a song from the um, the songs in the show. Okay. And so we have to um, also prepare either like a line or monologue. Some sometimes they want us to like say a monologue or say some of the characters' lines that we want. And uh, like one personal thing that we all have to do is that we have to try not to be so hard on ourselves yes. and just like think uh, positive thoughts of like, well, if I get this role, it'll be okay. And that's why we have like multiple roles that we're going for in the end. Awesome. Is there anything you want to add to what she said? Um, so yeah, a monologue, like if, if say if you're doing a straight play, which is also a play with no music or anything. Come on and educate us then. <laughs> um, it's a play. But, um, yeah, so when you're basically sometimes when you're doing a straight play, they will want you to do a monologue and not a song because there's no music mm -hmm. in a straight play. So, and but in the musical, yes, they probably would want you to sing 16 bars um, of of a of a musical song that have to be from the musical you're auditioning for, but it can be from a, a musical period. Um, and um, yeah, I think you got everything. All right, all right. Tell. Um was there really quick before we go to a break really quick i want you to tell us if there was like any audition that was your favorite either because it was so fun or the people in the room or something like that your favorite audition mm -hmm. who's um, going i guess i'll go okay yeah. so it kind of, it's, I think I have two. Well, I know that my most recent one, auditioning for Matilda, um, it was very fun because my my music teacher, my drama teacher, and my dance teacher were there at school um, because I go to Lincoln Performing Arts School. And they, um, they like, if, if I messed up, they would be like, no, it's, it's okay, it's okay, you, you, you can, you can uh, start with that part. And so they were encouraging, like, and our, our, my drama teacher, he gave me, like, a, um, a, a head start. Like, he said, if you mess up, it's perfectly fine. Just start where you feel most comfortable at. If you forget it, improv. Also, that's something where you make it up as you go along. Come. Words. We are <laughs> like, we need a vocabulary list. Really quick. <clears throat> we got a little bit of time. What was your what was your favorite audition? I mean, my favorite audition had to be when I auditioned for The Lion King. And I loved it so much because I was able to, um, it was like I was being me on that stage. And the character I got was, I was really able to express 
me while playing it. So when I, it was like very easy for me to do Lion King because it was just like me being me <laughs> on a stage. I love it. Oh, and you brought back great memories of Lion King, but we will get um, to more things in just a minute. But right now we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. On the next episode, we'll be talking to three young authors about their upcoming book called Game Changers. Join us, and we'll see you then. Hey there, hey there, and we are back. So we just finished talking about things that you need to prep for an audition. And we have some terms that we have learned. We have learned, which one? Straight play. Mm -hmm. We have learned improv and blocking. So take notes. Take notes. These are the things. If, you, if you're trying to get in this field, if you're trying to get in the game, these are things that you need to know. So just, just hang on. We might have some more, you know, from our talented ladies. They just throwing out terms and everything. So stay tuned. Pay attention. All right. OK, so we just finished talking about what you need to prep for an audition. Now I want to get in your business a little bit. How do you feel before an audition? Is there more pressure because you are going for a specific role or are you just kind of like, eh, whatever? How do you feel? What's that, what's that feeling before an audition? I mean, like when you, f like before an audition, like if I am really, really set on a certain role, then I'm going to be on my stuff. I'm like, you need to get this right, you need to get this right, you gotta show them that you are this character, okay? There's nobody else who is this character. Nobody and else. then, like, you just have to um, try and have less pressure on yourself, but, like, the way to do that is just put all your pressure into what you're doing so you can convey that feeling a little bit more. So sometimes the pressure is what you need to do to get a perfect audition. All right. So, um, I feel, so, it's kind of what Nia said, but if I don't really want a role, or I'm just like, I don't really mind what role I get, I'll just be like, you still have to try hard, but don't put too much pressure on myself because I want to get that role or some other role I want to get that I may not get. And um, if I really want a role, I try much harder. I prepare myself like a lot more. Like I'm practicing when I'm dreaming, I'm daydreaming, like practicing at school, practicing on the bus, like everywhere. And, but if I, re if I really don't want a role or just don't really mind, I still work hard, but I don't, put much more pressure on myself, if that makes sense. Yes. Yeah, I got you. I got you. And I love that, <clears throat> excuse me, I love that, um, that mindset of not being too hard on yourself, but at the same time, using your nervousness. That, that worked for me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my nervousness to get through the audition, because if you don't, it'll tank you out. It's just you know, you're, then you're then you're sad and you're stressing and you're sweating for no reason. You already got to dance. Now you're now you're just sweating because you are immensely nervous and you can't do it. So I love that. I love that. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that with us. So um, these two, this next question kind of goes hand in hand. How do you feel about an audition? No, excuse me, during the audition. And how do you feel after the audition? Let's, but I want you to pick one. I want you to pick one. You were going to audition for something, this role, and just this particular moment so that we can be a little bit more specific. So we're, we're getting more into your business. So what, what, what role were you going for? And how did you feel during the audition? And how did you feel after the audition? Okay, I can go first. Cool so um, I was going for um, Jeannie and Aladdin. Um, and I felt, during the audition, I felt nervous because it was my first, my very first, like, professional, professional play that I have been, like, I've been doing church plays happily, and, um, 
I've been doing church <laughs> plays, and I was like, I want to do, I want to do this more. So I decided to get into more professional. But um, I felt, I felt nervous, and I put, I, I didn't know really what to do mm -hmm. since I was so underprepared. I didn't know. I was so naive that um, that I didn't know exactly what to do. I felt after audition, I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna get Jeannie. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna so, I'm gonna, I'm so excited. Fun fact, I did not get the part, but I got ensemble, which is also the very best part of a show. And also, yeah. it also means a group of people. So like you people you see in the background, that's basically the ensemble. I love ensemble. Don't get me wrong, if I get a small role, I'm good too. But right. the ensemble is so much fun. Okay, sorry, what's up? So, <laughs> most recent um, audition, during the audition, I was like really happy because like I had studied my monologue and it was actually some lines from the play Going Locks on Trial. So it was like, they're gonna be so impressed. They're gonna be like, here she comes with all of her um, stuff ready. And she ain't just here saying some random words which you think they would say. <laughs> like she's actually prepared. And uh, after the audition, I was like, yeah, I, I'm Muffet. I, I got Miss Muffet, no <laughs> doubt about it. I was ready. I don't need to worry because I got it. Actually, I got a better role than that. I was Flounder, and it was a dream. <laughs> yes, and I saw the picture for Flounder. It is so cute. It's so cute. Okay. <laughs> All right, we've got some time. We've got a... Uh, a good amount of time left, but we're going to keep on rolling. Ladies, I'm enjoying, so enjoying this time with you Same. all. And you all are making me miss the stage. I need <laughs> to hurry and go back. Um, okay, so um, I want to talk about your first callback. Mm. <clears throat> okay. Oh, throat okay. clears. Mm. Okay. Can we put that at the bottom? Okay. Throat clears. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So your very first callback experience, the very first one, okay? Very I much. think I'm going to go first because this one is a doozy. Ah, <laughs> uh, very first one, I made the naive choice of going out for one role only, and that was the main role. I was new girl, so how was I going to get the main role? Uh, <laughs> but I went out for Annie. I wanted to go out for like June or July to like one of the orphans, but for some reason, I didn't. I don't know what I was thinking at that moment. I was like, just choose one. Just choose one so you don't have to worry. Bad decision, kids. Don't do that ever. Um, but I chose that, and um, I ended up being ensemble, but I was like very down myself until I got like a sad character that didn't say anything. Mrs. Pugh, but I, I probably should have just um, been happy being ensemble because I got to be in like a bunch of scenes that mm -hmm. like other people weren't be able to be in and they were like fun scenes that everybody else would be in and it was just like, hi, I'm on stage and you guys are backstage preparing for one of those scenes that has you nerve wracking and all that. <laughs> but the one thing that I love about being in the ensemble is that they used to tape the mics to us and since I had nothing to say, I I didn't have to get taped and people would like scream and holler and cry when they took off the tape and I was like I'm glad I'm not you I'm just glad yes you were glad yeah oh I was man glad. okay all right Miss Kaya your first callback experience well that was at school and it was for Frozen Junior and okay. I had already done Frozen Junior um, before with Faithworks but um, I'm like, hey, I just, I, I'm old enough to do it. Like, they had, like, certain grades and up. Mm -hmm. so, and I was in second grade at that time. I was second grade up. So um, there, there, I was like, yeah, I think I, I think I can get in again. Um, well, I was actually going for the same role I had done already. But I got a callback as Elsa, not Anna, because I was, I was Anna oh. already. I got a callback for Elsa. And I was so ha I was so excited. I was like, "Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna make it. I think I'm gonna make it." Long story short, I did not. But it was a good learning experience for you kids. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, I am loving all the life lessons 
that we are getting right now. I, I love it. I love it. Oh, uh, gosh. If I could turn myself inside out, you'd see I'm just bubbling. I love it. <laughs> I love all of this. Okay. So really quick, we have just a few more, a few more minutes, very little time. All right. It's showtime. Oh, no. It is showtime. It is opening night, ladies. All the flyers have gone out. People are filling the seats. They are in there to see you. What is going through your heads? I think I'll go first. <laughs> um, to get it over with. That was this. Mm. So, so I'm basically like, oh my god, who's in the audience? Oh my god, it's the mayor here. Oh my god, I'm just like, who's in the audience? When, when are we gonna see it? Like, sometimes I peek through the curtains. I'm like, who's in there? Who's in there? I'm glad I'm not the only one. But yeah, the curtains. Um, you're not. You're not the only one. So, um, so I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna mess up. Oh my god, I'm gonna mess up. But the good thing about that is, if you actually messed up, nobody but the people on stage will really know. And if that ever, and if somebody, your like one of your peers or castmates, um, does that, sometimes you gotta help them along or give them the next line, so that because to help them along. But fun fact, if you ever mess up, the audience never knows. So. Yeah, you're pretty good on that. But I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna mess up. Oh my god, I'm, oh my god. Oh, I get flowers afterwards. Yeah, that that's good. But yeah, I'm like, you're already thinking about the end of the show. Yeah, I'm already <laughs> I'm thinking just, about the end of the I'm show. I'm just trying to be at the end. Right. <laughs> All right, Nia, it's show time. What's so, going on? Basically, uh, same thing with Kaya. Uh, but um, for me, I'm trying. Uh, not to let the audience see me because it's like, no, no, my costume, no, that's not something that they need to see yet. It's a surprise. It's a surprise party. <laughs> and, um, like, on stage, I'm trying not to look at my peoples. I'm like, oh, I can't look. I can't look. I'm this certain character. Nope, I don't know them. The rando's looking at me. Stranger and danger. Stranger danger. Basically, I'm also sad because I'm like, oh, my God, I put up. I put forth all this effort and it's almost done. Mm -hmm. And it's just like yeah. I wanted to keep going because it's so much fun being up there showing my people, showing other biased peoples <laughs> what <Bias> people. <laughs> I am uh, doing and I'm able to show them I can sing, I can sing, I can dance, I can say my lines with emotion and I got to go practice a whole nother play when it's over and I'm just like I want to keep doing this one it's so much fun mm -hmm. and I don't want to have to go to the next thing and that is totally that's totally the worst part is once showtime hits and you're in the run of the shows all of a sudden it's like hey wow it's Done. It's over, you yeah. know. And the last show, and the last show kind of always brings some tears. I know it did with me and my cast members, but it's just it just always brought some tears. Okay, really quick, because we are like super out of time, but we're going to finish this last one because it's about the kids. It's about the kids. What advice would you give to another kid who wants to step into this business? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would give you little kitties out there, if you guys want to do <laughs> acting, uh, you have to get, uh, you don't have to have other people do it with you. Like, it can be your own thing. And, like, people really encourage you to come do it with them because it's a fun experience. And you have to be ready to put forth effort and get your listening ears on and be able to learn and consume the knowledge. And you also have to be ready to um, show them that you may not have done this before, but you um, can do it and you can also, uh, you also have to be ready to tell your peoples when the tickets are coming out because Dude. they are all over you <laughs> for the tickets and you just have to be ready to have fun. Because if you're not ready to have fun and you're all stressed, and you're all messed up. You're crying backstage because you Ooh. think that you're going to mess up. Mm. It really happened before once. Um, but um, <laughs> you just got to be ready to have fun. Because in the end, that's the whole experience. We're having fun. Yes, yes. All right. What advice would you give? Well, you should ha you can have self-confidence in yourself. Mm. If you don't have self-confidence, because there are people out there who don't, like, make yourself just... Try your best, and if you don't get the role and you just get, like, ensemble or something, take advantage of it. Like, yes. because you, you, like, you only live once, so take advantage of what you have right now because you may not know it, 
But next time you audition, you may get something much more bigger, which has happened to me before. So, um, and I would like to give advice to, I, I would like to say, um, you just, just make, make sure you're not, you don't have that much stage fright, but you also have to calm yourself. Like, like, like when you're having like a family reunion or something and your show is coming up, have you, have like, ask your mom and your, your grandparents and your aunties and your uncles and your great uncles, yeah, all those people. To ask them to watch your uh, watch a watch a watch just a song that you sing mm -hmm. and see how good you do. And if you don't do that good, try again. Just that's that's my motto. Try and try again. So help that helpful to you kids. <laughs> awesome. Yes. And oh great, great, great advice. I love it. I love it. Um ladies, this has been so much fun. I'm I'm sad that this right now is over <laughs> because I could think of more things to ask you guys so that we can hear more of your life experiences. I trust me, I have more questions, but we are so out of time. So I want to thank you, Nia. Thank you, Kaya, for coming to the castle and being on this show, giving us some advice for some theater magic. And you all, I hope you all out there enjoyed the show. Thank you so much for joining us here on Kingdom Kids. And as always, remember to wear your crown. Bye. Bye.